Hello everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this one skein rug. This rug is really heavy in texture, so this is really thick, which is what I'm looking for in a rug pattern. This rug measures about 26 by 15 inches and I use one whole skein, which is about 600 yards. The crochet pattern for this rug is really simple with only two pattern repeats, but it involves an unusual stitch, which I will show clearly. So it might be a bit challenging at first, but totally doable. Now let's get started! For the materials, I use one skein of this Craftsmart Never Enough yarn, which is about 600 yards, and this is in purple fuchsia violet color. For the crochet hooks, I use two, two sizes, size I, 5.5 mm, millimeter crochet hook, and size H, 5 millimeter crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. So let's start with a knot and chain 105. This is now 105 chains. Foundation row, double crochet in fourth chain from hooks. So one, two, three, four, double crochet in this chain. Double crochet in the next chain, right here. And in each chain across. So double crochet in the next chain again. So repeat this pattern across, double crochet in each chain. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with my foundation row. And this is now what my foundation row looks like. Row 1, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn. Skip the first stitch, skip this one, double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, skip this one, and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, and three double crochets in the next stitch. So here, one, two, three double crochets in the same stitch. Repeat the pattern, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, Skip the next stitch and three double crochets in the next stitch again. So one, two, three double crochets in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Repeat, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and three double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two, three double crochets in the same stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. Just continue with the pattern. So single crochet. Next is skip and three double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two, three double crochets in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, skip and single crochet in the next stitch. And at this point, three, double, three stitches left. So to end this row, skip the next stitch and double crochet in the last two stitches. So double crochet here. And the last double crochet is on top of the turning chain right here. So this is how to end row one and this is what row one looks like. Row two, chain three, one, two, three, turn. 
skip the first stitch so skip this one double crochet in the next stitch right here then on the next stitch is the single crochet so this next stitch is the single crochet on the post of the single crochet right here so this is the single crochet on the post insert from right to left right here like this and we're going to do three front post double crochets around the post so yarn over insert like this on the post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops and we just did the first front post double crochet and do another front post double crochet on the same post and this is the second front post double crochet another front post double crochet on the same post and we just did three front post double crochet on the same post now skip the next stitch this one skip this one and single crochet in the next stitch or in the uh, center stitch of the three double crochets then skip the next stitch skip this one and on the next stitch is the single crochet so on the post again repeat the pattern on the post of the single crochet three front post double crochet so this is the first front post double crochet second front post double crochet and third front post double crochet in the same post so this is the unusual stitch that i was talking about earlier this is what it looks like then skip the next stitch skip this one and single crochet in the next stitch then skip the next stitch skip this one and repeat the pattern on the next single crochet post right here so three front post double crochets again so one two and three front post double crochet in the same post so repeat this um skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row and i'm here now towards the end of the row i just did uh, the single crochet now to continue skip the next stitch and then on the next uh, single crochet post three double three front post double crochets again so this is the first one the second one and the third front post double crochet in the same post then to end this row just double crochet on the last two stitches so double crochet in the next stitch right here right here so double crochet on this stitch and then the last double crochet will be on top of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end row two and this is what row two looks like row three chain three one two three turn skip the first stitch skip this one and double crochet in the next stitch right here then skip the next stitch so skip this one and single crochet in the next stitch right here then skip the next stitch skip this one and then the next stitch would be the single crochet and then on the post of the single crochet right here so this is the single crochet on the post we're going to do the three front post double crochets again so first front post double crochet second front post double crochet and the third front post double crochet all on the same post this is what it looks like then repeat the pattern skip the next stitch skip this one and single crochet in the next stitch then skip the next stitch 
and then on the next stitch will be the single crochet then on the post of the single crochet right here on this post we're going to do the three front post double crochets again so first front post double crochet second front post double crochet and the third front post double crochet all in the same post then skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch and this is what it looks like then repeat the pattern skip and on the next single crochet on the post three front post double crochets again so first front post double crochet second front post double crochet and third front post double crochet all in the same stitch skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row And I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the three front post double crochets. Next of the on the pattern, skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch, skip this one, and the next stitch would be the single crochet. And then on the post of that single crochet, we're going to do the three front post double crochets again. This would be our last. So one, two, and three front post double crochets in the all in the same post then skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch now to end this row we're going to skip the next stitch skip this one and double crochet in the last two stitches right here and then the last stitch would be on top of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end row 3 and this is what row 3 looks like. So for rows 4 to 35, repeat rows 2 to th 2 and 3 consecutively. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with my row 35 to show you the next step. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 35. So I'm just going to show you the close up of the pattern. So as you can see, the three front post double crochet is back to back. So three front posts on the front side and then the back side would be another front post three front post double crochet so this unusual st stitch is what really makes the pattern thick and heavy in texture so i hope you can see in the video clearly now i'm going to show you row 36 the last row Row 36, this time I'm switching to size H crochet hook and this row is just a simple pattern. A pattern, chain 2, turn, skip the first stitch, so skip this one, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch across so just a simple uh, pattern of double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row so this is kind of um mirror the first the row one of the pattern so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row And I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the patterns. Uh, double crochet in each stitch. So double crochet in the next stitch. Right here. Then here. And then the last stitch would be on top of the beginning chain 3 right here. So this is how to end row 36. And this is what row 36 looks like.
And this is now what the piece looks like after row 36. So the beginning row and the last row looks similar now. So this is the last, the last stitch would be here on the top left side. Now what I'm going to do next is crochet a border around. Uh, so I'm going to start here on the right, on the left side. So on this side, turn the piece like this and I'm going to crochet a border starting here. So on this side here, on the right side, I'm just going to crochet one, uh, a row of single crochet. So chain one, single crochet in the first stitch. Skip the next stitch. So skip this one and single crochet in the next stitch. So just kind of estimate or eyeball. So skip and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip about one stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. So crocheting the border is optional. I just want mine to have a clean and nicer finish on the edges. So that's why I showed you how I did my border. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of this row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So just continue with the pattern. So skip about one stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. And then just single crochet until you reach the corner of the side. So I'm going to do one more here. So this is how to end the left side of the rug. And this is what it looks like. So just a simple uh, single crochet row. Now I'm going to turn the piece this way. And I'm going to do this side. So this side is the... Is the first row. So for this side I'm gonna do a shell so chain one single crochet in the first stitch right here then skip three stitches so one two three and then on the next stitch so one two three on the next stitch right here, we're going to do a shell, which is five double crochets in the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five double crochets in the same stitch to do the shell. This is what it looks like. Then skip three stitches. One, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. This is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, skip three stitches again, and shell in the next stitch, which is five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. And this is what it looks like. Repeat, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and shell in the next stitch. So five double crochets, one, two, three, four, And five double crochets in the same stitch. Skip three stitches. One, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. Just continue with the pattern. So I just did a single crochet. Now skip three stitches and shell in the next stitch, which is five double crochets here. One, two, three, and here. So one, two, three, four, and five. 
Now to end this row, just skip the stitches in between and then single crochet in this uh, in the last stitch right here. So this is how to end um, this border right here, and this is what the bottom border looks like. Now continue to the other side, the left side or the right side of the rug. So from here, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch or the next stitch right here. Then just the same pattern as the other side, skip one stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. So just estimate, skip and single crochet in the next stitch. Skip and single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. Just continue with the pattern, skip and single crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm just gonna single crochet in the last stitch right here to end the row. So this is how to end this right side of the rug and this is what it looks like. Continue on the other side or the top side. So turn the piece this way and work on the top side right here. So this was the last row that we did. So from here, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch. Then the same pattern, skip three stitches. One, two, three, and shell in the next stitch, which is five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Five double crochets in the same stitch. Then skip three stitches. One, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. This is what it looks like. The same pattern as the other, as the opposite side. Uh, repeat, skip three stitches and shell in the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five double crochets in the same stitch. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next stitch. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. So to continue, I just did a single crochet. Um, skip three stitches. Or at this point, if you don't have enough stitches, just eyeball it. Just do the last um, shell. So for mine, I just skip two stitches. And then to end the row, after the five double crochets or the shell, to end the row, just single crochet on the last stitch right here. Then to end this um, border, slip stitch on the first stitch right here, slip stitch, and then fasten off. And we are done. So this is what the um, this side looks like, and we're done. All the sides are done. So weave the ends, clean up the tails, and we're done. And this is now what the piece looks like, all cleaned up and all done. So you can put this next to your door or wherever you need your rug. So again, for the measurements from side to side, this is about 26 inches and from top to bottom about 15 inches and this is about 600 yards of yarn. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.